Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will talk about autoimmune diseases or basic introduction to autoimmune diseases. Okay, there are different types of autoimmune diseases that we will talk later on. First we will see what are the basic concepts of <coughs> or basic meaning of autoimmune diseases. Right. Okay, first of all we will talk about autoantigen. Auto means self, right. Auto, it means self, antigen, antigen, right, the foreign particle. So, auto antigen, an antigen, it is a type of antigen that is produced by the host organism itself, right. Generally, what happens, antigen is like a foreign particle which affects, which interacts with our body system and there is a development of antibody right but here this antigen is from our own body and there it is development from the organism itself right autoimmunity and then our body in response to this antigen auto antigen our body develops an immunity against that right considering them as foreign autoimmunity refers to a malfunction right of the immune system where it mistakenly identifies the body cells, tissue, organs as foreign and develops an immune response against them, right? Then what are autoimmune diseases? The diseases which are arising from these, right? These are known as autoimmune diseases. Autoimmune diseases are conditions in which the immune system mistakenly attacks the body's tissue. This occurs when the immune system gets faulty, which abnormally protects the body from infections and other threats becomes confused and targets healthy cells, right? They get confused whether this is for and they start attacking, attacking their own cells, right? So, this autoimmunity, this for the first time, it was coined by Paul Acrylic, right? Autoimmunity is a breakdown of immune system's ability to discriminate between self and non-self, right? They don't able to discriminate between the self and non-cells right so conditions in which structural or functional damage is produced by the action of immunologically competent cells or antibodies against the normal competence of sorry components of the body okay autoimmunity is the failure of an organ organism to recognize its constituent parts as the self which allows an immune response against its cells and tissues, right? Or we, what are autoimmune diseases? Any disease that, that results from such an aberrant immune response is termed autoimmune diseases, right? We have already seen. So autoimmunity results from the loss of cell tolerance, right? Cell tolerance, when this property is lost, then this autoimmune diseases occurs. So the disorders of immune systems can be a pathogen due to immunodeficiency, right? Where there is deficiency, uh, what do you call it? immunity is too little in case of HIV, right? Hypersensitivity, there is much higher response, right? Too much hypersensitivity. There is autoimmunity, misguided, right? Misdirected. So these are the disorders of immune system. So let's come to tolerance. Tolerance to tolerate, right? Immunotolerance, similarly, there is immunotolerance, right? Or immune tolerance. So normal immune system must differentiate self and non-self, right? They should be there. So tolerance, also known as immunological tolerance or immunotolerance, is a state of unresponsiveness of the immune system to substances or tissues that would otherwise trigger an immune response, right? Okay. What is required? It is requ it, it is important for preventing autoimmune diseases and maintaining homeostasis within the body right so what happens if there is a failure of cell tolerance lack of responsiveness to an individual's antigens right second underlies our ability to live in the harmony with our cells and tissues right so there are two different types of immunological tolerance based on organisms right sorry there are two primary types of immun immunological tolerance one is Central tolerance, another one is peripheral tolerance. Central, central, right? Peripheral, outside. So, 
In central tolerance, what happens? It occurs in the thymus and bone marrow where these cells, they are being trained to recognize their own cells, right? Where immune cells are learned to distinguish between self no and non-self antigens, right? It is crucial for preventing autoimmunity by eliminating autoreactive lymphocytes during development. Then there is peripheral tolerance. This takes place in any other part, right? Except these, like it could be either any tissue or lymph nodes, right? It involves mechanisms that prevent excessive immune reactions to the environmental agents, including allergens and gut microbiota. So they are involved over here. Regulatory T cells play a significant role in a peripheral tolerance by suppressing over overactive effector cells. So these are the various factors due to which this autoimmune disease occurs. One is genetic factors. What is the genetic makeup? There are certain autoimmune diseases which come from parents, right? So genetic makeup is important, right? In certain, in some cases, female are more prone than male, right? female so in that case again genetic makeup environmental factors like uv rays there are chemicals they may trigger some of the what you call this one mechanism pathway and they will they may alter the what you call pathway so again a faulty mechanism or then there is a possibility of development triggering of auto immune diseases right then there is this one one is genes genetic makeup another one is environmental factors radiations pollutions pathogens toxins so these are involved over here right and there could be certain stress conditions diet what are their diets right and besides this there are certain unknown factors right or we can say these are like age factors generally this autoimmune disease occurs in 15 to 44 years people right so diet well if there is more like um what do you call junk foods there is a possibility of occurring this autoimmune disease genetic makeup right hygiene hypothesis like if proper hygiene is there then it will fine other if there is no proper hygiene there is a possibility of catching the infection environment all the these play a role whether it is chemical pollutant or micro right or stresses genders Right, genetics and genders also sometimes in some of the females are more affected than males, right? So mechanism, what are the mechanisms of autoimmunity? Right, one is antigen is released from hidden locations. Okay, antigen generated by molecular changes, molecular mimicry. They may mimic the certain molecules, right? In these auto and they will mimic certain molecules and they start developing or damaging their own cells. Alteration in antigen processing. There is antigen processing, right? So these will be altered. Infection, they may cause infection. Genetic factors, right? Lymphocyte abnormal, there could be changes, alterations in the lymphocyte. Failure of central tolerance, we have already seen. Overcome peripheral tolerance, right? And polyclonal lymphocyte activation. So these mechanisms of, we can, talk about these mecha what do you call it, the factors or the, the mechanisms of autoimmunity in detail right one was genetic factor in genetic factor like there is an increased expression of class 2 hla antigen on tissues involved in autoimmunity so there is more poss possibility of enhanced expression of class 2 hla antigens there is increased familial incidence of some forms of autoimmune disorders right then there is higher incidence of autoimmune diseases in twins, monozygotic or in comparison to digozygotic. So this is one, again, genetic factors favoring genetic basis. Most human autoimmune diseases are associated with the multiple genes, right? It has been seen that most of the, this what you call autoimmune diseases occurs where there is, but from due to the multiple genes, right? Then there is immunological factors. One is polyclonal activation of B cells by microbial infection or by other products. It will be activated polyclonal by certain factors, right? Generation of self-reacting B cells, B cell clones bypasses T cell tolerance, right? There is decreased T suppressor and increased T helper cell activity. There is fluctuation of anti-idiotype network control may cause the failure of mechanism of 
immune tolerance again they will be responsible for reducing the immune tolerance and environmental factors like uv radiation they may play a important role may tre may cause death of the healthy cells and may lead to the exposure of nuclear antigens which elicit or trigger pathogenic immune response in lupus lupus are diseases that systemic lupus erythromatous so there it is right it may it is related to skin kidney smoking they may also play an important role in causing autoimmune diseases is a risk factor for the rheumatoid arthritis as it leads to chemical modifications of self antigens so it has been observed due to the smoking some of the what do you call cells they get chemically modified because of these smokes and in rheumatoid generally in rheumatoid arthritis it is a autoimmune disease of joints okay there is a strong gender bias there are certain diseases right more common in women than men owing to the hormones and other mechanisms right so what are the different types of autoimmune diseases these can be further categorized into two types one organ specific and other one non organ specific right organ specific right what are the major organs we have like these can be further other one organ specific and other one non organ specific among organ specific it could be brain brain generally uh, multiple sclerosis where there is an exon this neurons right they have a sheath this is known as myelin sheath just like electrical wires they are they carry this one signals right so these in, in multiple sclerosis these gets damaged these gets damaged and there is a formation of over here sclerotic bodies right so there will be slow what you call command right conduction will be slow this is multiple sclerosis thyroid will be affected this thyroid gland right there based on thyroid there is hashimoto's thyroiditis thyrotoxicosis and there is primary myxoedema these are three related to thyroid gland right then stomach related pernicious anemia is there pancreas related diabetes mellitus insulin dependent right type 1 right with this one adrenal gland based addison's disease then female based premature menopause <clears throat> among non organ specific like in one in skin systemic lupus erythematous erythematous sle e <clears throat> sorry scleroderma scleroderma skin <clears throat> on the scales there will be derma skin kidney this one this may also affect the kidney like systemic lupus erythematous muscle dermatomyositis and there is joints joints in rheumatoid arthritis and again this one sle systemic lupus erythematous so all these examples of autoimmune diseases which could be organ specific non organ specific right all these diseases we'll talk about in detail in our next class thank you